please. So help, uh, if you would, help demystify who and what a literary agent is. What, uh, what does your overall uh, week look like? What's your day look like? And if one of the uh, esteemed audience members listening reaches out to you with the perfect <laughs> book and you, you get them signed, mm -hmm. what does that relationship look like going forward? Which is a very big question. Uh, okay, well, so let's see. What does a, what does a day or a week look like? Um, you know, typically I try and start my day going through my queries. Uh, you know, and I try and go through the ones that I get the day before. Uh, now, I get thrown off that schedule really quickly. Like whenever I miss a day of, whenever I'm out of the office for a day, or you know, if I go on vacation, or you know, even if it's a long weekend, uh, I get backed up almost immediately. But but when I'm in, when I'm in a good clip, I do get through my queries. You know, first thing. Um, you know, after that, I'm doing. Uh, it it can be a lot of different things. Um, it can be. Uh, working on edits for an author. It can be um, negotiating the finer points of a deal for an author. It can be uh, vetting a contract. Um, it can be sending out a submission. Uh, you know, typically I've got, I get out, I don't know, at least one or two submissions a week, uh, sometimes maybe more depending on the time of year. Uh, so prepping a submission, putting together the list. Um, you know, then I'd say at least once a week I'm having um, in-house meetings, or, or not in-house, like lunch or uh, uh, in-person meetings with uh, editors. Uh, so you know, trying to build my um, my contact base and and you know, sort of uh, build on the contacts that I already have. Uh, and then you know, one thing we do have some in-house meetings at at Distal, so you know, there are those. Um, uh, sometime we will you know, about every two weeks or so uh, a publisher or a film agent or someone will come to us so we'll have a meeting you know as a group with them um, you know there are there are literary events going on at night there are literary events sometimes going on during the day you know so I'm, I'm out of the office of those uh, at night I'm reading uh, you know, uh, at lunch I'm reading. Um, but then I'm also, you know, I do try and look for uh, ideas for new projects. Um, and, you know, if I read a news story and think, hmm, that might make a good book, uh, you know, maybe I'll reach out to that author. Now that's more on the adult side than uh, on the kid's side. But, you know, that does take up, um, you know, probably on average about a half hour, hour of every day. Um, so that's kind of what my day looks like. Uh, uh, if I do sign you up, uh, or if I'm interested in signing you up, I'll I'll reach out over email and then you know suggest we set up a phone call. I always want to talk to someone before we start working together, um, or if they're in the city, you know we'll we'll meet in person. Uh, you know, once it seems like uh, this, you know, you are someone I think I could represent. I will uh, send, we have an agency agreement where you know we ask you to just sign a, uh, an agreement saying you give us the right to try and sell your book, uh, for which we will take our 15% commission. Um, once that's in place, then we start working together. Uh, you know, um, if the manuscript is in perfect shape and ready to go, fantastic, that's almost never the case. Uh, so we'll, we'll go through a round of edits, maybe two. Uh, but you know, I do like to try and get things out quickly if I can. Um, once I do, you know, once, once it's ready, I'll put together the submission list. I'll, you know, put together a cover letter, send it out. Um, if there are, you know, editors in particular who I think might be interested again, you know, this is it's not an exact science by any stretch. I might call them and tell them it's coming. Um, you know, and then and then there's waiting, and there's some waiting. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes people jump on it right away. Sometimes they don't. Uh, I had a client recently who got an offer. You know, that she'd had the book for the editor had the book for a year. Uh, yeah, a full year, and just hadn't gotten to it. Um, so you know, it it's I I try and give people about six to eight weeks to get back to me. Um, if it seems like it hasn't sold, we'll do another round of submissions. Uh, if the book does sell, then you know I'll negotiate the terms of the deal. 
uh, you know, deal with any counter offers. Um, once we have a deal in place, I run everything by the client, uh, make sure that they're okay with the terms. Um, when Once we say yes and pop the champagne, then I'll get the contract. Uh, I'll vet the contract to make sure it's uh, it's kosher. Um, you know, the agent, the the uh, author, the client will sign the contract. They'll be good to go. They'll start working with their editor. Uh, and at that point, I'm really then trying to place any ancillary rights I can, any subsidiary rights, any film rights, any foreign rights, if we are able to retain them. Uh, and um, if you know the book is accepted then we'll start talking about the next project. Um, and for clients whose books I can't place, which does happen, uh, you know, I, I always say that as soon as the book goes on submission, it's first time it goes on submission, uh, start working on your next book. Because I do view clients as long-term clients. You know, there, there are very few uh, authors or, that I've taken on where it's just been kind of like, I'm taking you for this one project and then that's it. Um, you know, I really see them as my role is trying to, you know, develop an author's career um, and uh, set them up for for the long term. So for that uh, next project, do you kind of have a conversation <laughs> with them um, about uh, what sort of project? Uh, uh, yeah, have some have some tea. <laughs> hmm. I, I know you mentioned you were just getting over a, a nasty uh, flu this week. So I, I appreciate you your powering through and, and making the time for all. us. Uh, but I wanted to ask, what uh, do you have input onto uh, what a client's next project might be while they're waiting for the news, the six to eight weeks for that first? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's that 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 is often, and interestingly, that is often where I can play a, a pretty significant role because you know a lot of the time uh, the client, you know, I signed them up for that first project, and you know, it's a great book, and it's the reason why I signed them up. And then we've got book number two, you know, the sophomore slump, but uh, or not sophomore slump, but sorry, sophomore jinx. Um, you know, uh, typically they've got more than one project. So the idea is to try and figure out which one makes the most sense. Um, it can be building on some of the, you know, maybe looking at the feedback that you got. If, if um, editors are all pointing to something as a strength, maybe, you know, really trying to build on that. Um, maybe trying to do something different or do something in a different genre. Um, that can be a conversation as well. Um, so yeah, there, there's, there, there can be quite a bit of um, strategy and such that goes into uh, the, uh, the um, sorry, one second. Uh, that goes into the, the next um, sort of round of, of what we're gonna do. Uh, and yeah, I think that actually is one of my one of my more 